on a flea market I bought these transistors a few years ago and these are the pin connections from this transistor. It's a field effect transistor specially made for VHF, so very high frequencies. And I wanted to make a field effect um, tester, field effect transistor tester. And on my way to develop that circuit, I found this circuit from an oscillator working with this field effect transistor. Uh, this field effect transistor is somewhat uh, special. It has two gates and I think it's often used, it can be used in a mixer circuit, radio uh, mixer circuit. Because it has two gates, so one signal is uh, directed, the VFO signal is directed to one gate, and the antenna sir, uh, signal is connected to another gate. And that makes that you can get a mixing effect. Of course, nothing is mixed in a radio mixer. So it's not a kitchen circuit, but you find here at the output or here the difference between the signal that's received on the antenna and the signal that, that is generated by the VFO. But anyway, I think this is a useful oscillator circuit. You see that. Uh, you see how I've made it in real. This is the transistor here. And here all the other components. And this is the waveform that's generated by the oscillator. I pull out now the ferrite rod. I have to do it with one hand so it takes some time. And you can see that the frequency goes up very much and that it keeps oscillating. Works on 10.7 volts, of course also on 12 volts and the frequency is now without the ferrite rod 9.8 megahertz. Put in the rod again into the coil, stick it in, and we will see that the frequency goes down substantially. You see the situation where the ferrite rod is sticked completely into the coil. 3.0 megahertz. So a useful oscillator circuit, I think. I hope this transistor uh, is still available nowadays. It's from a flea market and perhaps it's uh, old stuff. But uh, it works very well.